In this video, I'm going to show you how to have greater control over the direct links to each of the steps in your sales funnel using card flows. Hi, my name is Adam and I'm the co-founder of card flows and I'm very happy to show you this new feature that we've recently added to give you greater control over your sales funnel. So we're talking about page links. Now each step in your funnel, each step in your flow will have an individual link that goes directly to it. And they're gonna look like one of these two options. So the first one, we have the domain name, and then we have the separator, and then we have the second part of the link, and you have full control over changing the second part here. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. Now the other option would be your domain name, and then you would have that part that you have control over right here, but then you would also have this middle section that says cart flows underscore step. So I'm gonna actually show you as well how to make that say whatever you want. So if you want it to be funnel or sales or products or anything like that, you're gonna be able to set it to be pretty much what you want it to be. And we're gonna cover all of that in this video. And so let's go ahead and take a look at a WordPress site right now. So here I am, and I want to show you, first of all, where WordPress has the settings for these link structures. So if I go to settings and I go to permalinks, you're going to see them all right here. And this controls the link structure to every piece of content on your website. And if you have an existing website with some blog content and all of that, you're not going to want to change this because these, this would be a drastic change to change this setting here because it affects all the content on your website. Now for me, on all of my websites, one of the first things I do is immediately change it to post name. And when it's set to post name, it's going to be that first option, right? Domain name and then that second part of the link that takes them straight to the content. But maybe you've been on a blog before an older existing blog and you see maybe the date in the middle of the blog post so you have the domain name date and then that last part right there that you have control over so i'm going to show you how we can manipulate some of this right now so if you already have your website set to post name this is what your flows are going to look like so if i go to cart flows i'll do this in a new tab and I will go into one of my funnels here and I'll go into this checkout page step. Now, the first thing is the easiest is right here. You have that last part and you can easily change this all you want by clicking on the edit button right there and you can change that. And so this would be the direct link to any piece of content, including your card flow steps. So that's pretty easy. So you'll definitely want to customize that. But you notice I don't have that piece in the middle here. And by default, you don't get that piece in the middle when you have the permalinks set this way, which is to post name. So if you wanted that middle piece, it's actually super easy to add now. So let me go into my settings for cart flows. And if you scroll all the way down, we now give you unique specific settings for your permalinks. So the first thing is you can see it says that cart flows step right here. Now, if I wanted to change this to funnels, I'll go ahead and enter that and then I'll click on save changes. So let me back up. So I still have my permalink set to post name, but I changed this from the default setting to something else in the middle and that could be whatever you want. Now let's see how it affects the direct link to this step in this funnel. I'm going to do a refresh and as you can see now I have this middle piece. Now this will be global to your flows. So every single step inside of your flow will now have this middle piece funnels in the middle and it can be set to whatever you want. And so this is one option and you could still obviously change this last part right here. This is just giving you greater control over the link structure that you have over these flows. So that's one option right there. Now, you might have this enabled by default. If I wanna get rid of it, I'm gonna go back here. I'll click on set default and I'll go here. I'll do a refresh and you're gonna say it just, you're gonna see that it just went back to how it was. Now, 
some people that are adding cart flows to an existing website, they might have their permalink structure set differently. So for example, they might have it set to this right here, month and name. So let me click on save changes. So if you have it set to anything other than post name, this is what your permalinks are going to look like for cart flow steps. It's going to just have this right here. So this new option that we've added is going to allow you to change that as well. So let me go here and I will again put in funnels. I'll again click on save changes. And so I'm going to go here. I'll do my refresh and you can see now it's funnels again. So now you have control over this and you have now three options of how you want your links to be structured, whether you don't want this middle piece that I've been talking about or if you do. And also a reminder that you could change the last piece of your link as well. We just want to give you greater control over everything, over every aspect of your funnels here at CartFlows. And with this new feature underneath the settings, you now have greater control over the links and the link structure for all of the steps inside of your flow. Hey, that's all that I have for you in this video. If you have any questions about it, I know it got a little technical, feel free to ask down below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, click on that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.